Well, I do collage for it, but this is also my collages, but then this is also my photography, video. We actually have, um, 
there's actually an addition of 10 on this one. So if you're interested, we could uh, tell you a little bit more about the artist. Great. Yeah, I'd love to hear. Okay, let me get someone to talk to you. Well, I can tell you a little bit about her. Just to see if I can get some What is this so, Alberta specializes in her works of mines, and her work is, um, sells in so many different places. Each of them are like lovers. Each one is taken in a different place. So, they are, there's a story behind with the locations. So, Dysolation is a region that's where, like, you know what, I want someone to give you the writer's permission. Right. Liam, we actually have a couple of Thank you. Oh, give me one second. Yeah, please. Hi. Hi. Nice to Oh, um, so, so from what I know, I'm not a printer myself, but it has to do with it's, it's very similar to HBF to get it, but it's not. Yeah, it's about so 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 yeah, so there's awesome. so there's different kinds of printing, like there's like laser printing, which is basically like it literally kind of melts something, and then there's you know, keep it going, so it which is like the actual paint that go on to it. So it's kind of more like like then, um, and then there's also like, well, I mean, there's a million different kinds of things. Right. And that's a super, super high like, quality. I'm going to have my feet on that. Right. Thank you. And why these look so great is because they're actually high metal. And they're, um, and it's finished. I mean, hi, hi. The, check the prices. It should be right there on the label, right? Here, we've got a price list here. Um, 
Hi, Joe. How's it going? Pamela, I'm good. How are you? We're, it's crazy. Um, what do you mean? We're just, you know, talking to people about art. Here. Here. Susan. Okay. How are you doing? I'm How's everyone good. doing out there? I'm fixing my hair right now on uh, on camera because I just did a photo shoot of my own um, and uh, I kind of messed my hair up. But other than that, I'm great. Yeah? How's the weather yeah. there in the uh, Northeast? The weather is actually really beautiful today. Yeah? Really beautiful. Um, kind of warm. Miami. I know. I'm really upset that I'm not there right now. But I'm. I, I feel like I'm gonna get there this weekend. Yeah. I hope you're there before it's all over. But anyway, well, I can take you on a tour. I can show you what's happening in our booth. Yeah. Is, I hope um, you don't mind me taking my vitamins while we're on uh, on live. Yeah, take me on a yeah, tour. I want to see. So basically, tell me a little bit about Aqua. Tell me what you're doing there. What, how, what's our involvement? Like at ASMP. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. I'm going to put Terry on you. So, there we go. There we go. So she's got a feed going inside our booth. I'm also inside our booth. So we have 17 artists here. Uh, they're all ASMP members. Um, so I'll just show you some of the work on the wall and you can tell me, you can ask questions, tell me what you think. How about that? I love it. Let's do it. Okay. So Aqua, you know, is in a, it's in an old, old hotel. So everybody who has a booth here um, basically gets one of these motel rooms. So that's very cool. See, this is our little neighbor over there. And then here's ASMP. There's Liam. Say hi, Liam. And yeah, here's some of the work that I've curated. So down here we have Tracy and David, Eileen Lerner. Philip Stark, you know Ted and Nune. This is actually done at, um, this is the front of the Aqua Hotel from 2019, which uh, we also had a booth here then that I curated. <clears throat> Dan Jenny, this is Liam's piece here. See anything you like? Oh my God. I you know that when at the beginning at the, at the beginning of this, I saw some of your submissions, yeah. and you know that, uh, what I saw uh, at the at the beginning. I, I, like when you showed me the first edit of this, I was really excited. But there's a lot of pieces here that I didn't see when you initially showed them to me like it was there an airplane or something like that here yeah here's a piece here an airplane this is, a, some of these. this is a coast guard plane actually i love this um that is gorgeous yeah these are roberta rucos i love these we've sold a few of these already uh they're ocean scapes oh i love them Hey, tell me about this piece. I want to see, I, I, did this piece sell yet? Uh, not yet. I mean, not this edition yet. So this is Barry Rosenthal. This is actually on the cover of National Geographic Brazil. And um, we actually have a spread of the National Geographic US that was featured in. So that's the piece that's on the wall. This is the other pieces in the series. So what he does is he collects trash on the beach and then arranges them into these uh, sort of uh, photographic uh, boxes. Like, you know, they're a photograph, but they're in this shadow box wearing the beautiful. Um, so you can see all the different things. You got a little sky vodka bottle there, flip flops, 
all kinds of stuff found on the beach. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I love that. This That's is one little... of my favorite pieces in the show. And I didn't, yeah. I didn't think I'd love it as much until I saw it printed. Yeah. Now when I see it printed, I think I have to have it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you I would really, be... really like it. Yeah, it's it's really something. Well, so. I mean, obviously for the project, right? Yeah. No, like totally. The project is all about sustainability, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Barry no, is genius. I love that whole series. Yeah. This is another kind of very beachy Miami piece that I love by Melissa Rolden. Rolden. Mm. This one I really love. You get the reflection. Oh, that. Any of the yeah. beach scenes are like incredible for me. Yeah. And then we do have this video piece over here by Mia. Lots of people. Interested, loving that. So that's our booth. Wow. So why don't you walk me through some of the favorite pieces of the show that have been selling? So we sold one of both of these. That one at the top and this one. We've got and a lot of interest in this. So this is Roberta Rucco. So she does long exposures of oceanscapes. She uses a medium format camera, Hasselblad. And um, yeah, most of them are shot at sunset or sunrise. And because she's doing a long exposure um, and the light's changing at that time, so this is a good example of that. Um, they kind of have this really soft, you're fine, go ahead, um, this soft kind of abstract painterly feel to them. This is a slightly different thing that she does, uh, where it's called, this is a series called Lines of Latitude. So what she's doing here, she's like panning the camera very slowly during that long exposure. So it creates these kind of like lines with the movement. I love these. I love them. Yeah. You know I fell in love with these when I first saw them. How yeah. How is the mermaid doing? How is the um, women in the water? Yeah. This one? Oh, yeah. God, Isn't this so great? Up. I want to see the one oh, so, that's like go above. Yeah. So, yeah. This is Ladies of the Lake. Philip Stark. So two different artists here. Um, and then Eileen, this is Mermaid Shadow in the Shade. Lots of beach vibes, you know, we're right on the beach here. Yeah. So, so lots of action happening. It's been really busy. Lot, lots happening. Um, and then we've got some more stuff in the, in the flat file for people who want, like, unframed pieces. So another one, so this is uh, one of Liam's that I really like, too. Um, yeah. So that's, Pamela, that's, how long did it take you to curate the show? Like, how long did it take to put a show like this together? You mean to, like, physically do the installation? No, to actually curate it, to, like, get on the artist, like, explain your process so it's good to know. Like how you show. Well, um, this was a juried submission based um, exhibition. So people would submit to participate. We had a couple other jurors that um, selected work. And then once we have sort of the artists that we are going to include in the exhibition, um, becomes a process of scaling it out. So we know the information for, you know, what the sizes of the walls are. And some of the work was already sized and printed and, um, and some was more flexible. So it's more of a conversation of like, maybe we should do this a little bit larger or maybe we should do this as a triptych or, you know, whatever. And um, 
so I start to mock the scale, the, you know, the works up to scale and see what I like, where, and how many pieces we can fit and having those conversations with the artists, uh, having conversations about consignment agreements. And um, this is a slightly different model than like a traditional gallery where they're representing the artists and then the artists, um, uh, and then the gallery will take like a 50% commission. We take a small commission just to cover our own costs. It's more about helping emerging artists or artists that are maybe commercial artists that want to chance, you know, start to kind of tip their, their toes in the water of the fine art realm or whatnot. Um, so people are sort of at different stages in that, in that process. Um, so it's working with the artists to figure out uh, if they need help you know, deciding how to print their work, how to frame their work or, or mount it. You know, for example, Roberta's is a die sub process. So she's, she's printing on aluminum and then it's mounted to this like flush white frame. Um, Got it. And so she already kind of knew that. Some of the other artists were figuring that out. Um, so once I have a handle on how all the work is going to be printed, the size that it'll be printed at, the, the pricing, what, what seems like a good price for this market, um, then it's either coordinating shipping or transport to make sure that your work is going to get here in time to do the installation, um, preparing labels and other kinds of promotional materials. We did little postcards for all the artists. So, um, you know, if somebody likes this work in particular, they can take this with them. And then there's you know, information on the back if they want to purchase later or get back in touch with us. As people come through the booth, they can fill out a form and let us know what they're what they really like, and then we can follow up with them after the fact. So if somebody is like, for example, coming through on the VIP opening evening, um, but they really like the work, they just wanted to kind of check out other stuff in the fair or other fairs in general, because there's a lot of fairs that are happening right now. Then um, we will be, you know, calling them, texting them, emailing them after the fact, giving them re-entry passes if they want to come. Um, at a later date to the fair or uh, they decide later on that they're interested in buying the work. Um, so collecting that information. And yeah, it's just a lot of stuff happening all the time. A lot of really good conversations. This fair in general, as you can see, is like, you know, kind of a party. There's performances that happen throughout the is, is there like an overall theme to the show this year? You mean in terms of what we included from AS from ASMP, but in general is the is the is the show like I mean it's Basil, right? So like well, I don't know if Basil has a theme every year. You know how some um, Yeah is there a, an overhanging theme there this year? I don't know. I actually don't know. It. I, I haven't made it to Basel yet. I heard it's it's crazy. It's always crazy. I, I, somebody was talking about how this week in Miami is like the um, burning man of the art world. Uh, there's just so many things happening and like millions of people. I don't know if it's millions, but it's a lot of people. Uh, so I don't know about the theme. I know at Aqua, Aqua always has like, it's always featuring emerging artists. Um, at probably in general a slightly lower price point than some of the other fairs like Art Miami, Context and Scope. Those might be more mid-career artists. Um, and then Basel is like, you know, the blue chip situation. Um, we're pretty close to the Basel Pavilion where we are. We're on Collins Avenue and um, between 15th and 16th Street, I think, for anybody who's familiar with Miami. It's at the Aqua Hotel. Um, and so the booths here, they're different galleries. They're from all over the world. Like the people right next to us are from Puerto Rico. I'm looking downstairs. There's someone, someone from Buenos Aires, Tel Aviv, Stanford, Connecticut, I'm guessing. Uh, so each of the galleries are showing the artists that they represent. And it's all, you know, it's all a different vibe. I can show you kind of what some of the other booths look like. Wow, we're packed. 
at ASMP, huh? Yes, but it's a party. Yeah. Right, right. So. Yeah. And yeah, they've got a DJ, got a bar. Wow. Pamela, this looks so awesome. Yes. How, what kind of people come to a fair like this? Like, is it families? Is it art collectors? Or is it like a, 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 a bunch of entrepreneurs looking for art? Like, who are the people? It's all different. Yeah. It's all different types of people, I would say. Yeah. Uh, all of the people that you've named have been, have been through the booth. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I've never been to an, uh, uh, an opera. I've never been to any of these things in Miami, so it's all very interesting to me. That's why I'm asking. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm wondering if other artists, uh, from, like local artists, also visit the shows and like, oh, yeah. what is, what have, what have been some of the, what some of the responses from these folks? Well, I would say there's. Definitely, like, artists that come through. There are people that are just locals that are just checking things out. There's other um, galleries, right, uh, at other fairs that will come through just to check out what's happening in, um, in the other fairs other than where they're at. Uh, and then there's collectors, for sure. So there are people that you can tell that are here to buy, and they're looking for things to buy. Um, so it's just a real mix, for sure. It's this is so fascinating. And like, talk to me a little bit about price points on some of the art. Uh, sure. Okay. So I'll just take you back here. This is Mark uh, Vandermeer. It's at two thousand. Um, the plane is also two thousand. This piece down here is eighteen hundred. Roberta's, all of these at this size are 3,200. This piece is, is 2,500. Rams is 2,500 also. Margaret's down here, I believe, is 1,600. Got Melissa's at 35. Dolly's with the goldfish, which I just think is so cool, is uh, 1200 Liam, this is seven, edition seven of um, ten, I think. We sold, oh no, edition four or five, smaller edition than I thought. We, we sold a couple of these last year. Or I'm sorry, not last year, 2019. So that's 1500 Dan Jennings is, is uh, 14 both of Ted and Nunes, which they have such cool resin on them. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Uh, so these are both 1800 Philip, uh, Phillips at the top there is um, 1800 also. Eileen's is 2000 Tracy and David is two thousand. Yeah. How many have a red dot on them? Says Tim. Uh, I've got. We've got three sold so far, and one hopeful sale that seems like it's about to happen, and uh, hopefully more before these days out. Yeah. Wow, now how long is the show for? Um, it ends Sunday at 6 o'clock. So anybody who happens to be in Miami that wants to come through, you can hit us up. We can give you some tickets. What? We're doing it? Okay, great. Oh, look at that. We made a sale. A very exciting. Woo! Yay! Yeah, it's happening. Love it. So, yeah. Tim says that's better than I thought. Well, Tim doesn't know me then. <laughs> Tim, clearly you do not know Pamela. Yeah, so. 
Oh, look at that. Ted and Nune are here. Hi, guys. Hello. You want to say hi? Hey. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah. Are you guys selling art? He's asking if you're selling art. And they're like, we're trying. They've been working on the on the administrative stuff all day. God bless them, because I do not want to do that. Um, <laughs> no, you don't. So, but they just got here. The fair's open until 9, so it's just a party. Yeah. Awesome. What's been one of the most exciting things for you working on this project? I think, like, seeing artists grow and really, like, figure their their audience out, their market out. It's really exciting to sell people's work that you know was, that were hopeful to sell and then you, you know, made that happen. Um, it's just fun to be in Miami because it's warm and uh, it's a different vibe than New York. You know that, so. Yeah, I do. I'm really excited about this show. I have to tell you, it looks so gorgeous. Up. I saw how much work you put into getting the booth ready, and I was so, I was like, wow, this is not, it's so different than orchestrating something online, right? Like, as an agent, what I do is, you know, we curate for an online audience. So to see it go live and see how much work you had to put into it, even like getting everything printed and packaging it up, and didn't you drive this art down there? Like, didn't you take all of the art with you? Like, I did. <laughs> Not all of it, but a lot of it, yeah. But a good portion of it. Like, mm -hmm. the amount of work that you've put into this show, I just want to say, first of all, it shows. Because that, the, the artwork on the wall, I wish I could see it a little bit better, just in terms of the lighting. Um, Tim, aqua, aqua yeah. art Miami, and we're in ASCP yeah. booth there. So, yeah. So I just want to say, seeing it come together from inception to like the curatorial process, I remember being on the phone with you when you were still sort of sorting the artwork, right? At the beginning of Dear Curator, you were still kind of putting the context of the show together. And to see it live on the walls now and to know how much success you've had in just a day, I'm really, really thrilled. Um, and I have to be involved next year. I'm just saying, next year I'm in this with you fully. I wish I was there. I had a couple, I had to go get oh my god, vaccinated and do like a bunch of stuff, so I'm sorry for the delay, but I think I might hop on a plane tonight to come down to see you. Well, you, you, you should. I mean, I think. This is, uh, this is the place to be. I need a little Miami sun right now. Yeah, we're, we're right on Collins Avenue, um, so just one block over from the beach. I went to the beach the other morning. It was like 80 degrees by 9 a.m. So. Wow. Tim is asking if there's an online catalog for us to look at. So if you go to the Aqua site, Aqua Miami site, there's a page for ASMP images there of the work. So if you go to Artsy and you look at um, the Aqua Miami Fair, they have a fair page on there. Um, I can also like hold up the, there's a QR code. I don't know if you can scan that from your phone, Tim, but you want to try and do that. Tim, try that. See if you can scan the code from your phone. Yeah. So you're posting this, right? Pamela? Yeah. So you can do that after the fact. Um, we've also got some work up on, um, on the High Priestess Project org site, um, so I think probably even if you just Google ASMP New York, I'm going to pop Aqua this Miami. into the I'm going to pop this into the uh, comments, Pamela. www. the High Priestess. High pre hi not the High Priestess Project org. So there's that. There's Artsy. There's the Aqua Miami site. Um, lots of places to look at the work. Yeah. 
Hi. Well, dot org, so you yes. they're not gonna get there. They just <laughs> look at that. High Priestess Project. Dot org. Ah, uh, uh, come on. Hi. Is this project dot word. It keeps wanting to like Okay, there it is. There it is for you. Um Tim. I've got to tell you, see the show come together. Congratulations to every artist. And Tim just posted the RC. Uh, link. So, congratulations to you and to all the artists who give it Yes, thank you, Joe. We're having so much fun. And so. You know, we'll keep this short today because I want to get yep. back to making some sales. But um, it's so good to see your face, and I hope to see you in real life if you can make that happen. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to get down there. I, I might just go fly standby. Whatever works, right? But um, well, I mean, listen, I want to get down there. So that's the, the, the point is I wanted to see the show live. It's just been a crazy week over here in New York, but um, but I'm so glad to see you. You've done such a great job. And by the way, you look amazing. Like oh. amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, I'm I'm wearing flats. That's the number one rule. <laughs> have, um, you been, have you been able to go and like have a little fun while you've been down there? Well, you know, we're usually here like 10, 11 o'clock at night just doing work, and then we grab something to eat, you know, and we debrief. Yeah. But honestly, we live for this stuff, so we're having fun. Good for you, baby. It's been yeah. so good to see you. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me call my travel agent. <laughs> <laughs> Love that you have a travel agent. I do, um, even for trips to Miami. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, well... I love you, and yeah, we'll, you keep, we'll save this, job. we'll post I it. Just, I want to yeah. hug you so bad, all of the effort you put in. It was like months and months and months of work, and to see it come like live like this, I'm so proud of you. I love serving on this board with you, and I think you're probably one of the smartest women I've ever met, so congratulations. You are doing such a great job, and I can't wait to see. I want. I want all the sales. I'm giving you yes. all the sales energy today. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, okay, all right. You're a rich friend with a golf stream. Says Listen, Tim. Tim, send them our way, okay? And if you see Leo <laughs> DiCaprio, I have to, I have to sell him to the young screen. That's the thing. That's a joke, Joey, because he always is at Basel. So. I know. Like, I it's on the checklist. I, I, exactly. <laughs> all right, my love. Have a good okay. one. Okay. All right, I'll see you around. Bye. All right, bye. Bye.